what is up? Welcome to another Cook With Me Dessert Edition. edition. <laughs> Guys, today we are making something super yummy. I've had this before, but I've never made this before. Oh, okay. So it is the chocolate Texas sheet cake. Ooh. I've been messing that up all night because it's just like a tongue twister. Why do say they it, say, say it, chocolate say Texas sheet cake? <laughs> oh, wow. Good job. Yeah. Sheet cake. Why is it Texas? <laughs> I don't know, because everything's bigger in Texas. It's <laughs> okay. big. It's on a big pan. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is that why they do it? I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know, but we're going to make it tonight. So you make the cake, you make the frosting that goes on top. It looks delicious. So I'm excited to make it. All you're going to need for this recipe is all of this stuff, basically, and water and milk. So we've got powdered sugar, sour cream, baking soda, butter, vanilla, two eggs, cocoa, sugar, flour, salt, and I think that's it. That's it. That's it. Just <laughs> actually, it's like basically your main baking ingredients. Yeah. I feel like you know. You're so, right. anyways, let's jump into it. Let's get this done because it is late for us tonight, and the kids are craving some dessert. All right, you guys. So we're gonna start over here in the saucepan, and what we're gonna do is butter. Oh. It's a cup of butter, you guys. Everything <laughs> which is better with butter. 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 So it's a cup of butter. Oh uh. wow. Two full sticks. That's insane. That's wow. insane. We're getting healthy tonight, guys. That's almost as much as I put on two pieces of toast. Almost, not quite. <laughs> More like half. Yeah, that's like half of what you would use. So basically, to the saucepan, you're gonna add the butter. So you need two sticks, one cup, and then um, a cup of water and three tablespoons of the cocoa, uh, the chocolate cocoa. Okay, we got the butter all melted in here. So now we're gonna just add a cup of water. Ooh, and, and this is going to get to a boil, right? Yes, we got to put bring this to a boil. So, all right, and then three tablespoons of cocoa powder. Wow. Durr. Durr. Emerlyn and I went through a lot of the cocoa powder when we would make no-bake cookies. Oh, yeah. Like, a lot. The I cookies you guys made at the last cook with me, bake with me, whatever you want to call it. The cookies? Those were so good. The no bake ones. They were like rice oh, crispy treats or I still prefer the regular. No. And I think most of the kids prefer the regular. Well, they I think, were still I good think though. minus the powdered sugar, those ones were pretty good. Yeah, those were good. Okay, so there it is. So it just says to bring this to a boil. You're gonna put it on medium heat, bring this to a boil, and then we can do the um, dry ingredients while we wait. Okay, so dry ingredients, we are doing two cups flour. So one. Guys, this is a lot of sugar and stuff in here. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. So it's two cups flour, two cups sugar. <laughs> really? That's a lot, right? Wow, we just had dinner and it was like two cups cream cheese and two cups sour oh, cream. Oh man, we literally are oh. gonna be so over it. So is that, the cocoa that's boiling up over there, is that like the frosting? No. Oh. I think you're gonna mix it in this mixture. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so, okay, one. Oh my goodness. It is a lot of sugar, you guys, so be warned. What is that one recipe that just takes up so much sugar that we used to make? I have no idea. It's like you, cookies or something. You brought that up before and I can't remember. Ah. Okay, two cups, that's oh, insane. Wow. Okay, then we're gonna do a teaspoon of baking soda. One full teaspoon. Okay, okay. And then we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of salt. And that's your dry ingredients. Okay, next in another bowl, we are gonna wow. mix the sour cream, the eggs, and- oh Some no. vanilla. Oh, and the vanilla. I was gonna say salt, but we already did that. So eggs, sour cream, vanilla. You need two eggs for this, so boom. Whoops, sorry. Oh, Whoops, sorry about the that. The whole shell. The whole shell, the whole shebang. The whole shell bang. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Okay, two, all right, then we're gonna do half a cup of sour cream. Wow. I wonder if you could substitute this for Greek yogurt if you want to make it a little healthier, I don't know. You gotta just go with it if it's you want the actual- It's just a freaking dessert, guys. Serious. Like, come on, you can cut small slices if you want. Like, but down, if you everybody. want like the real taste of the recipe, you've gotta use the gotta ingredients it. that it calls for. You do, that is very true. Okay, half a cup of sour cream going in. And then we are gonna do, what did I say? The, um, the vanilla. Oh yes, the vanilla, you're gonna do a teaspoon. Okay, teaspoon of vanilla. You guys go ahead and do yourself a favor or don't and look up um, where vanilla extract comes from. Oh really, where? No, I'm not saying it on public television. Oh wow. <laughs> 
I learned this one time and someone someone put it on their stories and I'm like, that's actually really gross. So you Google it. Oh, wow. <laughs> you Google it. Okay. Okay, and then, okay, so I'm just mixing all this together as you can see. And then this is literally gonna go into the dry ingredients. Ooh. So we're gonna just pour that in here. That looks a little gross. Whoa. <laughs> a little clumpy dumpy. Oh, little, bumpy dumpy. Bumpy dumpy, baby. Wow. Okay, and then this, you're actually, once your um, sauce is boiling, you're gonna add your sauce to here as well. Whoa. And then we're gonna mix it all together. So let's just see. Holy cow. Ooh, mamacita. From scratch, you guys. From oh, scratch. It smells good Making though, a sheet right? cake from scratch. Heck yeah. So we'll see how it turns out. So basically you're just gonna stir it till there aren't any lumps. And that's basically the base of the cake. And then we wow. pour it in the pan, bake it. And while we do that, we make the icing for the top. That's actually pretty easy. Seriously, That's that not was bad pretty at quick. All. Yeah. And it smells so yummy. Comment down below if you guys used to just wait for your mom to stop with, like, line the little pan with the cake mix and then lick, lick the it. bowl and spoon. Lick the bowl. Lick and the how spoon. many of you at the end would literally use your finger to totally finish off the bowl? Did you ever? Oh, everybody does, right? Oh, yeah. I remember my mom would make banana bread and I would lick all of her mix on that. Wow, would you so like literally good. get your face in the bowl and lick it? Oh, heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> all right, you guys, now it's the fun part. We got it all mixed up. Now we're gonna all pour it into up. our- Don't, Don't know, know what, what to, to do. do. Ooh. So we're hoping this is a 13 by 18, which I believe it is. It's the closest thing we have to it, so that's what we're using. <laughs> that's what we're gonna get. <laughs> so we... it's gonna be paper thin if it is. Well, the sheet cake is. Oh, it'll rise. Sheet cake is thin, so. Chocolate sheet, sheet cake. cake. And you guys, the mix, we dipped our fingers. Ooh, it tastes really remember yum. We just did. <laughs> yep, it's really good. Yum. It's almost better than like the store bought. Let yeah. me get the slap and But the eggs make it like so much more than the store bought. <laughs> the eggs, and honestly, the sour cream. Oh, that's really? what like moistens it, makes it moist. Ooh, moist, moist. So here we go. Ooh. Ooh, look at that sheet cake. Can I like this? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> See, she was waiting for that, guys. All right, so now we're just gonna kind of spread it. Make sure it's greased, and then you're gonna set your oven to 350. 350. To bake this bad boy. Oh, wow, it's like perfect. Mm. Perfect, it is, yeah. So this must be the right size pan, I think. Because it will rise a little bit. Look at that, it's like one big fat brownie. <gasps> right? That is so awesome. <laughs> wow. Yum. You guys, if you haven't seen our dinner video, go check that out because we just made that right before this. So if you're looking for a dinner plus dessert recipe, the dinner was really good. So stay tuned, you guys. We're going to be doing more. This is our second one, two weeks in a row, where we've done uh, dinner and dessert cook with me's back to back. Just to kind of keep like giving you guys the ideas of what to make during the week. I know it gets kind of like we kind of fall towards our uh, go-to recipes. So just to give a little, some ideas. Okay, so now we're gonna put this in the oven, 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, You literally just flipped me off. I was wondering, I was like, <laughs> did that look like I was, I had frosting on my finger wow. and I was licking it off. Get <laughs> it! Yeah, exactly. So, got that, look how good that looks. Wow. Right? So you put that in about 15 minutes and then it says about halfway through it's cooking time and you make the frosting. So we'll do that. Okay, so back to the stove top, you guys. We're gonna make the frosting while that cake is in the thing. You're gonna need a half a cup of butter. Oh my God. <laughs> so much butter for this recipe. So I'm gonna just kind of let this melt down a little, but you're gonna put a half a cup of butter, six tablespoons of milk, and three tablespoons of the cocoa. And then once this is done and the cake is done, you're gonna pour the hot frosting onto the hot cake. Oh. And then you let it set. Ooh, it's gonna be good. Okay. Ooh, so good. Oh and you guys, check this out. If you guys haven't seen our Cook With Me already, look over here. Oh, I know. This is what's left right now from dinner. Oh my gosh. And I just might take it. No, you won't. Oh, oh Ethan is. challenged you. Oh, wow. Okay, so three tablespoons cocoa to the butter, and then 
we are going to add six tablespoons of milk. I think this should be called the husband's delight. <laughs> yeah, I think you're probably right. Because that's Ooh, what... Ooh, that rhymed. One. <laughs> Wow. Oh, two. You guys, because the dinner we made in the cook with me was called the husband's Three. delight casserole. How many are you doing? Six. Okay. Six tablespoons. You're going to stir that up, and then we are going to add the powdered sugar to that. Okay, so to this, we got the little chocolate all in here. Look at that. We're going to add three and three-fourths cup of powdered sugar oh, into wow. here. Oh, so wow. That, that kind of was... thickens it up. Oh, yeah. So that's just one cup. I'm going to add three more. Oh, yeah, totally, because I was like, that's going to be a little runny. No. Well, you want it to be able to pour on anyway, because it kind of hardens, you know? Okay. So, okay, two, three. Making a mess over here. And three, four, cup. And then just mix that. Oh, wow. The crazy thing about powdered sugar is it, like, always feels like it's too much, and then it just, like, absorbs it. Look at that. Oh, so our past two recipes, we've used quite a bit of powdered sugar for desserts. Yes, we have. Huh. That's true. We've we don't got a normally theme do that. Going on here. No, I don't usually normally use a whole lot of powdered sugar, to be honest. Oh wow! Look at that, you guys. Look at that frosting galore, baby. So this is gonna get all mixed up. We're gonna pull the sheet cake out of the oven, and then use the possibly the slap and spread and spread it all out. Boom, we got a sheet cake. A oh, sheet wow, cake. Wow, <laughs> that looks legit. It does look legit. Okay, so it says pour the hot frosting onto the hot cake. Look at his belly button. Why does this make me nervous? <laughs> <laughs> nice belly button. Okay, look at that, yum -o Holy bum -o. cow. So you want it to be hot because you don't want the frosting to completely set before. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Picking up what I'm throwing down. Yeah. Ooh, this smells so delicious. Yes. So after this, you're gonna just kind of spread the um, frosting everywhere. And then you let it set for like 10 minutes. And then it's ready to eat. Yummo. All right, so not the most beautiful job I've ever done, <laughs> but it was starting to cool off pretty quick. It cools off really quick, so just be warned. And I will say it was a little uneven, and I think it's because I put it on top of the hot pad. And so the end over here kind of like slumped over a little bit. So a lot of the frosting went, oh. it kind of pooled. So just make sure it's like flat, flat surface, and then you can get it. So I got it the best I could. And Guys, I, it still doesn't look that, that bad. Looks not that bad. so good. Not bad at all, right? Mm -mm. Can't wait to taste it. You're going to let it set for 10 minutes, and then... It's ready to serve after that. Okay, we're digging in, you guys. Hopefully it's ready. It's been 10 minutes. Okay. Oh, cake. Okay. <laughs> oh, wow. You're such a dad. <laughs> that was a good one, though. Okay, so we're gonna oh, cut this. Is it is it like thin enough, but thick enough still? I don't know, we'll see, right? Ooh. I'm scared, I've never done this before. It's like a chocolate cake chip. It's like a big fat brownie, no? Oh, wow. I want it. You do? Those mm -hmm. look so Emberlyn good. has licked the, like, bowl completely clean. It's good, huh? So she obviously likes the mixture, so that's a good sign. Let me just get one of these out and see if we can oh my show you the mama. thickness. There it is. Oh, wow. They're supposed to be thin like that, though. Take a bite. Why are you laughing? Take a bite. <laughs> I have Ooh. a feeling the middle is going to be a little bit more thick than the ends just because of how it all got laid. We're just going to take We're a just going to take it like okay. real life here, guys. Yeah. We're not even going to plate this back. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> is that good? Mm -hmm. Wow. Oh, Emberlyn's gonna eat this whole thing. This is such an Emberlyn thing. Oh, wow, wow. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, so there you have it. Mm -hmm. A chocolate mm -hmm. sheet mm -hmm. cake mm -hmm. at mm -hmm. late at night. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned for some more Cook With Me's. We're gonna try to do them each week with a dessert. And that's it. Mm. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and most importantly, don't forget, choose your day.